In Star Wars The Phantom Menace, the Jedi Council are presented with a young Force sensitive named Anakin Skywalker. After a discussion, they refuse to train him, deeming him too old, forcing Jedi Master Qui-Gon Jinn to take him as his Padawan. As we know, Qui-Gon dies, leaving Obi-Wan to train Anakin. But what if Anakin was denied training completely? How would this change Star Wars history? As you are about to see, a lot changes. There are several routes we can choose here. The first route, which is more unlikely, is that Anakin would be diverted to another division of the Jedi Order, such as the Agri Corps, as he had not received enough training yet. What we are going to say in this scenario instead, is that Qui-Gon leaves the Jedi Order when the Council refuses to train Anakin, taking Anakin with him and leaving Obi-Wan behind, deeming it to be the will of the Force. This results in a small change of the events of the Phantom Menace, as instead of Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan going to confront Maul, it is Masters Windu and Yoda. Given that the Jedi Council were not known as a Sith's presence for a thousand years, it is likely that the Jedi Council would send two of its most skilled combatants against the Sith. Maul is quickly overwhelmed by the two Jedi, and sent to Galactic Prison, but without Anakin destroying the droid control ship, this forces the two Jedi to use the Force to guide them to victory, resulting in more Gungan casualties, but not that of Jar Jar Binks. Meanwhile, Qui-Gon and Anakin have ventured off back to Tatooine, where they free Shmi, and together, they begin their training with the Force. It is likely Qui-Gon will free Shmi, as he knew that Anakin could not let go of his attachments like the Jedi, regardless of how much meditation he did. The trio were also joined by Dooku, who, like Qui-Gon, had become disillusioned by the Jedi Order's decision-making. Dooku's decision means that Darth Sidious has to go and escape a wounded Maul from prison, and then to Dathomir to ask for Mother Talzin to heal more quickly, and continue to have an apprentice. Sidious would further train Sith acolytes, designed to kill Jedi. Fast forwarding to the events in the Attack of the Clones, not too much has changed, except the Qui-Gon and Dooku are no longer Jedi, but have become Grey Jedi. This has allowed them a more expansive view of the Force, the ability to use dark side abilities, and form attachments. Anakin, meanwhile, has been trained by the two Jedi Masters on Dooku's home planet of Sereno, becoming a proficient lightsaber duelist and force user by harnessing his emotions. However, one day, whilst meditating, Anakin detects a tremor in the Force. Pointing this out to his two Jedi Masters, together they venture off to Coruscant, leaving Shmi behind. As they begin their descent on the planet they are called home a decade ago, they can make out the remains of a starship, Moving closer and landing on a platform near the wreckage, they see the remains of crew members of Senator Amidala's entourage. Anakin acts on instinct, and rushes over to the Jedi Council with Qui-Gon and Dooku in swift pursuit, barging through the council chamber doors, much to the surprise of the Jedi Temple Guards and Council members. Anakin demands to know the location of Padme, as Qui-Gon and Dooku stand in the doorway, looking exasperated. Yoda, Sensing no malice from Anakin, asks Obi-Wan, whom is shocked at seeing his old master, to go to Padme's apartment. Anakin is shocked to be reunited with Padme, with Qui-Gon and Dooku looking on with amused and knowing looks. Obi-Wan is less impressed, but knows Anakin always had attachments he could not let go of, and regardless, he knew he would be safe in the hands of his old master. The Jedi Council now have a choice to make concerning the protection of Senator Amidala. They could either ask Anakin to protect the Senator, and risk Anakin turning to the dark side through his attachments, or deny Anakin access to the Senator to prevent him from becoming attached, but angering him. They decide to choose the former, as they knew Anakin was the best person to protect Senator Amidala, but knew it also presented a great risk. The mission is a success, as Anakin picks up Shmi from Sereno, and they go to Naboo together, where Anakin reveals his hatred for Sand. Whereas in canon, Anakin is conflicted between choosing Padme or the Jedi. In this scenario, he has no such issues, as he is not part of the Jedi Order, and under the tutelage of his two Jedi Masters, knows how to manage his emotions. However, little did they know, a shadow was watching their every move. That is it for part one of What If Anakin Was Denied Training. 
If you would like to see a part 2, please like this video and subscribe for more what ifs. And as always, leave a comment on what what if you'd like to see next. Thank you very much for watching, and see you next time.